Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Koei, joined by Sintel Koei. It's your boy. We're looking at the first guy to ever order drive through from Ryan George. Thank you, Ryan George, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Y'all, if you haven't already subscribed to Ryan George, there's a link in the description below. You can click on that link, hit the original with an upvote, and subscribe to him from there. Also, please subscribe here, hit that bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. All right. Let's jump into this, shall we? The first guy to ever order drive-thru. I am very excited. I like drive through I'd never even considered that concept. There had to be a first, right? Yeah. At one Obviously. point, there was a first. There's the first one more. to take a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This video is sponsored by Raycon. More about them at the end of the sketch. And so our special this evening is the, just a big wet bowl of soup. And <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually I'm gonna go check that out. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he specify the soup would be wet? Yeah, I don't. You'd think that'd be a given. <laughs> hi, yeah, he got sir. a mustache yeah, or something. Hi a mustache. There, That's I hilarious. want some of the food. Yeah, that's. We got that in here. I want to buy some of it. I want to eat it, quite frankly. Perfect. You know, absolutely. This is the place for that kind of thing. So come on in, grab a table. I don't want to grab a table. I don't even want to sit at a table. Those mean the same thing. So what, you want to eat standing? I want to eat somewhere else entirely. I want to get the hell out of here. Okay. I I guess we can put it in a box for you. Come on in. Not doing that. No. Well, sir, I don't know what the food is in here. I know that. I know where the food is. So, sir, I don't... What's the problem? I want food now, but getting out of my car, that's like a whole thing. Wouldn't you agree? Well, am I wrong? It's a thing, sure. So, but everything is a thing, so I don't really, like, what's the <laughs> argument being made here? I like it in here. All right, do you want us to bring the food out to you? <laughs> Excuse me? Too. We can have one of the delivery guys <laughs> deliver it to the parking lot, I guess. Okay, I'm not a baby. I can get my own food. Thank you very much. Okay, so you don't want to come in, but you also want to get the food yourself. Correct. And you don't- Okay, so, um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> The car, though, man. Yeah, the car I know the car is genius. <laughs> <laughs> What's so interesting to me is that people will sit in the drive-thru, which mm -hmm. you'd think is faster because you're, you're, you're in your car so you can just go. But right. I, I have found statistically it actually takes more time to go through the drive-thru than to just get out of your car and order. Like I think you're right. It, over here in Los Angeles, we have a, a restaurant called In-N-Out. Um, it's, oh, al it's, it's along the West Coast of America. It's not even on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very popular burger chain. People will just line up around the block in their car to order drive through it in and out when if you just pulled in and parked and got in and ordered your food, you'd be in and out and you'd be adding less pollution to the environment as an yeah. <laughs> overall thing. It's just bizarre to me. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like a, uh, I, I think there was like a hybrid, right? Like we have this, we have a, a restaurant. This in, is in Los Angeles as well. It's called Sonic, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole concept of Sonic, it was like back in like the 50s, I believe. It was kind of like drive through, but not really because mm -hmm. you drove in, but you didn't really drive out. You just ate in your car. Girls would like bring out burgers and fries on roller skates and stuff and they'd put it on your door window and you would eat in the car and talk to your friends in the car. You had me at like girls. That was like the segue, right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the segue. Like eventually yeah. somebody just got to the point and was like, I don't want to eat in my car anymore. I just want to like eat at home. Yeah. So I like drive throughs because I can listen to my music. Uh, that's why gotcha. I like drive throughs If only there was a way to listen to your music without the car. Food <laughs> <laughs> yourself. Correct. And you don't want to get out of your car. The seat warmers in here have perfectly toasted my buns. That's personal. Yes, if I got I out of this that. car, that'd be like taking two perfectly toasted buns and making them leave the car. That's, you lost track of right? the analogy right away. I want food. Okay, well, that, it sounds like you're not willing to do what's necessary to get it. Let me drive up to the kitchen. What? I want to drive there. Sir, you can't drive up to the kitchen. Why not? Because of how buildings work structurally. I want to drive to the kitchen. Sir, there are people in here. If you drive your car into the building, they'll get hurt and the building will get damaged. I'll come around the side. The side of the kitchen has a wall. Make a hole in your kitchen. No. So I don't have to get out of the car make a hole in your kitchen seriously <laughs> listen if you want my money you got to make a hole in your kitchen and hand me some food through it jeez man i guess we can do that i mean my boss does love money you should because this could be like a whole new source of business for you guys i don't know man i feel like it has some flaws no it doesn't how would we even take people's orders we can't have a parking lot full of people shouting orders at us here's what you do you wear a little headset you put a speaker system outside that barely works well, why don't we put one that works well <laughs> nah. all right then i yell stuff at you you mumble some stuff back and we both hope we understood each other how are you even gonna know what to order do i just leave a pile of menus outside make me a sign why is that the case why is it that the speaker 
speaker outside is always the worst. It's like it hasn't been improved since the 1950s or something or whenever it is that it, that took place. I have no idea. Have you ever gotten like heard somebody and you can't understand them whatsoever and you're like, oh, it's a speaker. And then you get to the window and they open up the door and they're like, <laughs> and you're like no. oh, shit. It, that really was you. <laughs> no, not once. But it makes me wonder if it has something to do with the weatherproofing of that system. And that's why it sounds the way it does, because it has to end the test of time against yeah. like hail, you know, snow and rain and all that stuff and wind, yeah. debris. Yeah. I'm guessing that has something to do with it because it always sounds the worst. And it's always on. I mean, it's on like probably like 12 hours out of the day every single day. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Then I yell stuff at you. You mumble some stuff back and we both hope we understood each other. Are you even going to know what to order? Do I just leave a pile of menus outside? Make me a sign. Make you a sign? A giant sign that I can read from inside my car. This engine stays running. That's not good for the planet. And then I get to exactly. the window and you and I both twist our bodies into uncomfortable positions trying to exchange money and food. This sounds really rough for all parties involved. Do it. Okay, fine. Can you make sure to have your money ready though? No. Okay, well I'm gonna go finish up with some customers inside and then I'll break a hole in the kitchen wall. Okay, thanks. I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, so we'll both have the soup. Oh, yeah, good choice. It's super wet. Why is he telling us? I don't, why specify? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there. Hello, it's me. I'm the astronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Raycon. Listen, I love my Raycon earbuds. I use them all the time to listen to my self-affirmation recordings. Hey, astronaut, you're the best. Oh, thank you, me. <laughs> Raycon earbuds let you have fantastic audio quality wherever you go. And they start at about half the price of other premium audio brands. Plus, with the holiday season fast approaching, Raycon earbuds make the perfect gift for your family and friends. I got some for my friend who's obsessed with those true crime serial killers. Podcasts. But what the victim wasn't expecting outside his window was me. Okay, that sounded like it was hosted by the serial killer. What? Anyway, Raycons are <laughs> yeah. available in five awesome colors, so you can pick some to match the style of everybody on your list. And just a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Bleach. Okay, that's, I'm glad he has Raycons so nobody can hear what kind of stuff he listens to. I'll be honest, this feels like kind of a red flag moment in our friendship. I don't know where we go from here. And hey, you can get 15% off your Raycon order today. Just go to buyraycon.com slash Ryan George and use code HOLIDAY. They've even got free shipping and returns. Hey, astronaut, you want to hang out later? Nope. <laughs> Blue Thanks to our sponsor, Bleach. <laughs> That's fucking dark. Yo, I'm just gonna knock a hole in a wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pioneers. There's only two things that have drive through and that's fast food and drugs. <laughs> Liquor stores, which I think is even a more horrible idea. I don't think they have drive through liquor stores in, in, in Los Angeles. No, I've never heard of this. This is a thing. Yeah, it's a thing in the South. Yeah, it's a lot of like you could drive up and get your alcohol, which there seems like that would be are, such a problem. Are the laws different <laughs> around alcohol in the South? Because in, in Los Angeles, you have to put it like in the trunk or something. It's something weird. Like, OK, if it's sealed, I guess you can just put it in the back seat. But, right. But if it's open, it has to be in the trunk. Yeah, well, I don't think you can even drive anything open at all. All, period. Yeah, like you can't have an open alcoholic. No, I mean like the seal has been broken at some point. You have to put it in uh, the trunk of your car. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no, that, yeah. I mean, you know, it's all state law stuff, so yeah. it's a lot different because, you know, like a place like Louisiana, you can drink at like 18. So. Yeah. Thank God for the emergency hatch in the back for the cars ever since like the 2000s, you know, where you like put down the armrest and there's like a hatch into the trunk. You know about that? Okay. So th yeah. th it's, it's just- or you can put like skis and stuff in there. Well, it's also so you can throw your alcohol in the back in case a cop pulls you over. <laughs> <laughs> way more practical use, by the way. <laughs> it's just big enough for a Jack Daniels bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what gets me is that you know the exact specif specifics of the of the dimensions, Mr. Lush. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never actually done that, but it seems like a perfect escape hatch for your alcohol so that if the cop pulls you over, there's no reason for him to be suspicious other than your breath and your bad driving. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, officer? My, br my breath smells like pennies. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so if you ever get pulled over by a cop, pennies is apparently the way to make your breath stop smelling like alcohol. Is that really a thing? That's what I heard. Oh, you just gosh. like... I heard the absolute worst thing you can do is actually use like mouthwash because mouthwash has alcohol. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I just I cleaned it, like, myself. Double and triple. <laughs> yeah, it'll triple the, the, the whatever the meter reading is. <laughs> it's like, 
Mm. I'm just being hygienic, Officer Whitman. <laughs> <laughs> about the drive through thing, like, it is peculiar like where this comes from. That's what I love about Ryan George is him pointing out the absurdity of humanity. It's like we have this window so we can get food faster, but it's actually worse because you're waiting behind a line of other cars, all with major inefficiency, and you also are dealing with the toxicity that you're adding to the environment. It's just like so many reasons why it's just a, such a bad idea as opposed to just parking your car. It doesn't actually cost you that much more to turn your car off and back on than just idle. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like what is what is it called when people don't like to be around other people? They are um, introverts. 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 Yeah. I think it's like it's like introvert culture. Persona sure. Up, ramped up. You just don't want to be around people. I think that for the like beginning of pandemic, it made sense. And if you're in the cold, then yeah, that also makes sense because I can imagine how like uncomfortable it would be to get out of your car when it's snowing or something mm -hmm. like that or you know whatever. In that kind of a circumstance, I totally get it. But yeah. in an environment like L.A. or you know like New York when it's not snowing knowing, then why? Why not just get out of your car? But you know, there are some cases where I'm not trying to get into the store. Like there's one fast food restaurant out here called Popeyes. And mm -hmm. Popeyes, it can be in, you know, it's in the hood. In some pieces, parts of the hood, you, you ain't really trying to, you know, get out your car, but you want the chicken. I want the chicken, but I don't want to get out my car to get the chicken because my life could be in danger. <laughs> so <That's true>. yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping my vehicle will stop the slugs from flying to the windshield. <laughs> it's like a really fake sense of security. You know, you just don't want to deal with the people. But the food is good. Um, you ever see those scenes like in The Godfather? Was it The Godfather that I'm thinking of? There's like movies where, like gangster movies where you have a, a car that that gets trapped between like a car in front and a car in back. Oh yeah, definitely the Godfather. Yeah. Can you imagine a scene like that in a drive-thru at a Popeye's? <laughs> Golly. <laughs> I just wanted the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't pay me, bitch. Listen, you think you think I'm kidding in case you don't know what a Popeye's is. Like there's a couple of uh, restaurants in LA where there is literally two to three inches of bulletproof glass that separate you from the cashier in the store. I'm not even lying. Like you ever heard of, there's this one, a uh, Krispy Kreme. It sounds, it sounds like you, it sounds like you need to move, dude. Uh, no, 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 I'm just saying this is in LA. When I used to live in LA, there was this one Krispy Kreme, they used to call it Killer Creams wow. uh, because it had been robbed so many times and so many drive-bys had happened that <laughs> the management have decided it was like maybe it'll be in the best interest of our employees if we put them behind bulletproof glass. That's why there's drive throughs in some places. <laughs> you could just hire saying, a, you can get away. You, you yeah. can just you could you could just hire that big ass ro robot from Robocop. <laughs> the Ed 209. Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> you guys, this has been fun. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you again to Ryan George for allowing us to react to this. Very much appreciate it. Y'all subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell icon. All notifications. Vote this up. Follow Sintel on his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Sintel. Also at Sintel on Instagram. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koei. This is... It's your boy. Peace out.